hello, hello, and happy Friday to all of my twins, Geminis. I am talking to each and every one of you all. Hopefully, you all are having a great Friday. I know that you are because that is the intention you said. Geminis, we're going to get right into your general reading. These are the Light Sears Tarot deck by Chris Ann. People always ask which cards I'm using. This is it, Light Sears Tarot deck by Chris Ann. I think I got these from Amazon or where did I get them from? I don't know, a bookstore, one or the other. I'm not really sure. I can't remember which one, but I think you can get them at both, so... Um, this is not sponsored. I just really happen to love these cards <laughs> and I have a thousand different decks, but anyway, let's get into your general reading. Let's get into your general reading. Please only take what resonates with you. The energy has already been cleared. Let's get into it. Let's do it. Let's get into it. Gemini's let's do this thing. All right. My thinkers, very smart sign. Gemini's I'm talking to each and every one of you. Let's do it. First card out of the deck. We have the moon card. We're going to put it right here. It's attached to Pisces, right? And speaking of Pisces and speaking of the moon, the next new moon on March the 2nd will be in Pisces, new moon in Pisces. So a lot of people are experiencing a lot of, um, while I'm laying the cards, I'm going to tell you what's going on. A lot of people are experiencing a lot of really deep emotions right now just because we are in this the phase of um, Scorpio, the last quarter phase, and the moon is in Scorpio, right? Here we have the Five of Cups. So somebody could be experiencing this right here, feeling a little sad, feeling a little, you know, down. But again, you know, if it gets to a, 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 play, a point where you just feel like you just can't ride it, this out, please, 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 you know, we care about people's mental health. Please call a mental health provider, a professional. We're not talking about just a random friend, somebody on the side. Please please contact somebody if you get to this point right here where you just cannot shake this off or feel like, okay, I can't ride this out. This is just too much, right? We have the wheel of fortune. You have time and money in your favor. It's going to feel like things have slowed down for you so that you could catch up and change your perspective, right? So again, I'll reiterate this again and I'll say it again. We learn through repetition. So if somebody really feels sad into a point where they just cannot move out of that space, please call somebody that you love and, you know, help you know, to get some help. But I see you getting as far away from hostility as possible, as far away from people who make you feel like this. Drudge up those those energies. I see you taking your power back, your emotional strength, your power back, because you have now stopped trying to, because um, as a mutable sign, trying to adapt to certain situations. So if it's a job that's causing you to feel like this, and it's a tricky situation, or a person, or a thing, person, place, or thing that makes you feel like, okay, I feel like I'm emotionally drowning, I'm just drained, you need to get as far away from that as possible. So if somebody's trying to start these silly arguments with you and trying to bait you into some things, Gemini, I know you all are, you, you and Virgos, y'all have the backing of Mercury because that's a communication planet, but no, do not engage them. Just, just get to walking, get as far away from them as possible because it will, you all are such a smart sign. You could say something where it could just really be like you went straight in for the jugular. And I think I had to mention that to one of your sister signs, Aquarius, because y'all, y'all can just go right into some, you know, and so and rather than do all of that and create bad karma for yourself, just don't fresh new start and a new beginning is happening for you so look forward to that and also your intuition is extremely heightened so there have they're looking at your cards looking at your spread of cards Gemini's, because like i said you all have are an adaptable sign you all um you're a mutable sign which makes you highly adaptable you're very very smart but right now like i said because the the last quarter moon is in scorpio and february is really going out with a bang emotionally somebody could be feeling it like every single energy everything that just really gets up under your skin you could be feeling it and you may want to talk about it you may want to say something or tell somebody nope mm -mm. hold your peace because you need that space for the things that you've been asking for just please hold your peace move on something could have really really gotten up under your skin somebody may have done something to you in the past or you may have, you know, you even if it's attached to somebody that you love, you know, that that is really getting up under your skin. Like I said, hold your peace because there's some things that you've been asking for, Gemini. And so, again, you have time and money in your favor. You just want to let it fall by the wayside. And it is going to subside. That emotion is going to subside because, look, this is what's coming your way. A lot of opportunities coming your way. The way that you used to handle things in the past will be very differently than the way you're going to handle things moving forward. Because again, you're starting to understand, hey, listen, if I hold my peace, then I have I have room 
to receive the things that I've been asking for. So somebody will receive a raise at work. Somebody will receive opportunities coming your way to meet new soul tribes. Somebody will meet their actual person. If you're not already in a romantic relationship and you desire to be in one, somebody will meet their actual person. Why? Because you're moving differently. You're not responding. You're not emotionally responding to everything, right? And I'm telling you, um, uh, this this last quarter moon in Scorpio has really been something else for a lot of people. Like people just snapping off and just saying things and they're in their feelings and their emotions. Don't get caught up in that, Gemini. <laughs> Don't get caught up. Do not or try not to get caught up in it. Try not to get caught up in it. Take those blindfolds off. More money is coming your way. That's what I'm seeing here in the cards. So big money is coming your way. So and look at it. This is just this simple, Gemini. Do I hold space for this emotion or this person emotionally just grinds my gears and they just really get up under my skin? It could be a person, place, or thing. It could be your job. It could be family members. It could be anybody, right? Anything or anybody. Do I hold space for that or do I busy myself with doing things to nurture myself and just ride this out because this is what I'm waiting for, big money. So I see somebody looking for new windows of opportunity when it comes to money and I see you getting even bigger money. So again, those people in your job acting crazy, take the blindfolds off. See that you're the one that's the prize, right? All that repressed energy trying to, you know, navigate through this. And, and then and then you're going to end up saying something that's going to put that energy out in the universe, um, Gemini. And that's not what you want to come back. So take those blindfolds off and say, you know what? They need, more, they need me more than I need them. <laughs> I mean, we really telling the truth here. They need me more than I need them. So why? Wait a minute. Why am I getting upset about this again? I'm qualified. I'm smart. I'm qualified. I can find a new job just like that. Why am I? What? Well, wait a second. What is wrong with me? What? So again, somebody's going to come to that realization. And emotionally, you know, emotionally, those emotions are going to subside. They're going to wane because when we're in the last quarter of a of a cycle, that's the moon waning. So those emotions become less and less by the day, right? Less and less intense by the day. But I see somebody getting their rest. You're at the end of a long and arduous journey that you've been on of enlightenment. You can say that you were burned, but you're enlightened now. You wide awake, eyes wide open. And I'm talking about that third eye um, as well as your 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 naturalized but i see you sleeping better i see you sleeping better because this gonna hit somebody like a ton of bricks now wait a minute why am i getting upset over this again when i am the prize i am smart i am a thinker i know what i'm doing here like i'm not interested in any tricky relationships so let me slow this down for a second and then walk this through for somebody I see somebody on a job. I see somebody on a job, some kind of a relationship, whether it's a job or a romantic relationship. All of a sudden, it's going to hit you like a ton of bricks. They need me more than I need them because of what I came through the door with. And I'm talking about your spirit. What I came into this relationship with, they need me more than I need them. And it's not even being arrogant at all, Gemini. It's more or less like just knowing your worth and standing in your power. That's why you're going to start feeling very happy, very magnetic, and very free. So no longer are people going to just deal with in your 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 um, company just treating you any kind of way. When you know you can easily go out and find another job, making double that. Somebody is not going to put up with being in a romantic relationship or even a family relationship or friendship, knowing what you bring to those relationships. And it tricky, you're not interested in tricky relationships anymore. You're not interested in it, not even holding space, creating space for it. So that's what I'm seeing for you all. And for somebody, it's been a real intense journey just because, again, we have this last quarter moon in Scorpio. So a lot of things are changing for some people. Some things are changing. The end of a tough cycle approaches. That's why I like to shuffle the cards in front of you all. When I say y'all about to go cold, y'all about to go cold as ice. <laughs> I love it. Gemini. Gemini. Somebody. <laughs> Listen. <sighs> they don't understand that twin energy. We could have been cool, cool. But you start showing me a pattern of behavior. And I get it in my mind. Okay, I'm about my ice, my heart about to turn into an ice box. That's what my heart used to be, ice box towards you. It's a wrap for you. It's a wrap. It's a complete and total wrap. Here we have um, to trust a self that is rooted in ego would be folly. But when you tr when you truly know who you are, you can trust yourself from a soul. To see this one, I'm talking about right here. If somebody don't take a screenshot of this, <laughs> Gemini's, come on, get with it. 
You better know your worth, Gemini's, and stop letting these people play tricky, you know, tricky uh, relationship with you. The job trying to play you, your your ex or somebody a romantic relationship trying to play you. You better know your worth. You better stand up and say, "Oh no." Okay, I am relaxed and let consciousness carry me through life. That's right. That is right, Gemini. That is what I'm talking about right there. Let's see what else we have here. Whew. I got so excited over your reading. I forgot this last. <laughs> I forgot this last card, Gemini. Oh my God. What in the world? Here we have temperance card. Again, raise to your highest frequency. Put your put your angel wings on and ascend higher. You better let these people know. You better you gotta show you gotta show them better than you can tell them. Don't waste your breath on these people in these tricky relationships. Not another ounce of your breath. Do you are you gonna waste? You just gonna show them. You're just going to show them. Make an altar. The number seven. Look up the number seven. One plus six is seven. Look it up on my uh, my knowledge channel. The link is below. I love this reading for you, Gemini's, because you all are not playing games anymore with people. You're done. You're done trying to. You're just done with a lot of things. So even if you don't physically, and I, I would never tell somebody to quit their job. You you take from the reading whatever resonates with you. Okay. So I'm not telling anybody to quit their job. What I'm saying to you is you have to know your worth. If you're working a job and you don't feel appreciated, then it's time to start. It's time to start putting that resume out there. And looking and seeing the, what offers are going to come in. That's going to help somebody move a whole lot differently than just letting it this fester, these emotions fester up until you go off on somebody and then boom, they got you. Okay? That's what I have for you. I'll see you in a couple of days, Gemini's. Bye.